Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Transport Fever 2. Uh, this would be Tropical Fun. Now, I'm basically just about done with this map. It's uh, basically going to be more of the same, same old, same old, uh, going, uh, you know, continuing forward here. And uh, quite frankly, uh, I don't think it's going to be particularly compelling to try and connect up the last of the uh, industries. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, I'm going to do some uh, upgrades on the passenger uh, network. I mean, that's what we started this thing with and uh, uh, much of this thing with. And so I'm going to uh, I'm going to go through and uh, update uh, the passenger uh, lines here. Uh, now, I'm going to start by uh, first off, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to manage these vehicles. And I'm going to replace it with a uh, okay. So that does 45, 40, 40, 50, and it takes 18. What are you? You take 11. Okay, so anything's going to be 60. Oh, well, we're going to take this one because of the loading speed. So I'm going to replace those. Uh, and that should uh, clear the uh, backlog there. Uh, I'm also going to, uh, like we've got this boat route here. Uh, I'm going to uh, replace these with uh, something a little bit faster. Now, um, uh, passenger, um, I think we can uh, go ahead and use this hovercraft. I mean, it's it's way faster because if we uh, we take a look at this and we look at the details, the speed of this thing is 25, right? Uh, it's got a loading speed of 40 times, so you know there's that. Uh, but this one here has a loading speed of uh, it only has a capacity of 20, uh, but uh, it's way faster. Um, so this one here has a capacity of 70, right? Uh, so, uh, but this one runs at 93. So uh, I could go with one of these others. But they're not appreciably faster. Uh, and I don't need the bulk transport, really. So I'm going to actually stuff hovercrafts on here. Now, um... Now you can see that it's, uh, it's moving a lot faster. Now I'm pretty sure that's going to be plenty to keep up with the, uh, the, the passenger demand there. Now, okay, so that's that bookkeeping dealt with. So what I'm going to do now, uh, the, the thing I need to do now, I need to, uh, I need to upgrade. I need to electrify everything here because I'm going to upgrade to electric trains, right? And uh, that's uh, kind of uh, critical uh, for the uh, nice, uh, fast, grunty trains. Uh, right. Okay, so... Now, of course, our passenger line split here so I'm going to follow this one up, uh, first of all. Right, yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade a line and then we're going to ride it. Uh, simply because, you know, eh, something to do, right? Uh, and then, uh, you know, and we can see how, uh, how it looks, right? Now these, uh, these lines are actually pretty long. So the faster trains, uh, should make a huge, huge difference in, uh, in, uh, passenger uh, throughput. 
and it will probably also increase passenger transport quite a bit. Uh, but we have lots of cash coming in, so we can afford to do this. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, yeah. Might as well get the crossover. Uh, right. So we've got... Uh, Quite an interesting rail network has developed here just by trying to connect all of the uh, the um, um, uh, industries. Uh, so uh, on the next map, uh, I'm actually going to, uh, I think I said last time, I'm going to do bespoke uh, connections between industries, like direct one industry to one industry type things. Uh, and the reason I'm going to do that is simply because uh, I need uh, I need something that's a little less. Um, oh, that's a through line still. Uh, I, I I need to have something that's a little less. Uh, uh, well, uh, well you, you've seen the. Uh, the cargo stack ups right so a little less uh, difficult to balance i guess is the uh, the term i'm looking for uh right okay yeah good ah there's the end of the line okay now uh also oh no upgrade that there we go uh okay now i want to put the high speed rail on here as well uh i'll probably ultimately i should probably upgrade the bridges um You know, but because the uh, the stone bridges are only good for 90k, but uh, let's get it electrified and get the tracks updated, and then see where we end up. Okay. Oh, we got a long viaduct here. Definitely, we'll need to. Uh, upgrade that uh, right uh, anyway uh, the idea on the next series is going to be uh, you know bespoke single point-to-point -point lines for cargo I will continue to do this type of network for passengers uh, the reason for that is uh, you know I, I think it um, I think it's kind. Of, it's nicer, and it adds a little bit more. Uh, well, it adds a little bit of the challenge of uh, balancing the passenger network, but it also uh, that is electrified. Okay, uh, uh, it's also just what I like to do, right? Uh, yeah, uh, that that's basically what it comes down to. It's what I want to do. But the uh, cargo stuff, uh, we don't have. Uh, you know, if the um, if it had something like a, uh, a cargo destination thing, like say Open TTD has, then uh, perhaps uh, it would work better with the uh, the hub and uh, you know the everything hubs, right? Uh, but something that I think will ultimately happen in the new series is uh, some of the uh, cargo types will naturally uh, form hubs in areas just so that we can bring all of the stuff together. Okay, so that's that, uh, that line. Now let's come in here and we'll manage the vehicles. Uh, we probably don't need quite this many of them, but we'll replace them. Now we need electric. Now what do we have here? Uh, is the 103, that does 200k. What do we have for uh, carriages? We have this, which does 200k. Uh, that does 140. 
Uh, that one does 200k with a loading speed of 1. That's got a loading speed of 2. That's better. Uh, the Bombardier by level has a loading speed of 4 times and carries 30. And it does 140. 140 would be fast enough, I think. Um, yeah, but we could have this one. No, we'll go with the Bombardier. Uh, okay, so we'll one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll put five of them on there with a ridiculous capacity. Now, we need a loco that does about 140. That one does 140. The series 1042. That would be a good match. So does the New Haven EP5. So that's 3000 kilowatts. That's 3300. You know, that has. I'm going to grab that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use. That's what I'm going to use on this line. Okay. We don't have 159 million. If I take that off, no, that's not enough. Passenger, put that back. Grab that. Um, get that back. 159. Um, I can get up to there. Replace. Yeah, okay. Now, we've probably got way more trains on there than we actually need now. Uh, which line is that? Nope. That's that one. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got more, more trains on here than we actually need. Uh, I'm going to cut the trains down to four. Yeah, yeah, that uh, that was quite substantial. Now let's grab a train and uh, have a look see on uh, on what's uh, what's doing here. Uh, so yeah, uh, so we're we're coming along at, at something. We're gonna yeah, I, I should rebuild these viaducts because now we're down to ninety. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rebuild the viaducts. Um, right, uh, have enough cash to do it. So. Uh, let's pause the game. Um, okay, so we'll do this in uh, in stages. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, okay. Uh, we want this. We want that. We want electricity. You can come around to here. Oh. Well, you can actually be a uh, you can actually be elevated if you want or uh, an embankment if you want right okay now we're good there yeah okay grab that again okay you can come around to here and uh, we'll go with concrete yeah that's concrete yeah uh, uh, now it's it's not good naming to call it cement um, just so you know, uh, concrete is the correct term for uh, the uh, uh, the material that's made of Portland cement and uh, aggregate, or rocks and sand. Um, okay, we're going to need to put signals in here as well as we uh, rebuild things. Okay, here... Okay, now, okay, well, that's, uh, let me build this along like that. We still need that. Yep, that'll be plenty good. Um, collision? Okay. Obviously, we're not going to do it that way. Okay, now. 
Well, we'll bring it in from this one then. Collision. Uh, is that just level? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Um, right. Okay, so I can come in on this angle like so. Yeah. Okay. You can come around here. And then you can come around here. Yeah, that'll work, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, take more of it out. One thing that would be nice if the game had uh, would be a uh, a uh, bridge upgrade uh, uh, feature, right? Uh, that would be nice if it had that. Uh, it doesn't, but it would... Oh, come on. Uh, it would be nice if it did. Uh, right, okay. And then here... I think this is going to be another bit that doesn't quite uh, work. Oh no, that one does. Okay. Good. Now, put in uh, signals here. I'm upgrading this one in particular because it's such a long viaduct that uh, it would seriously impact uh, the trains uh, if I didn't, right? Uh, okay, that's that. And I just have to get up around here. Um, well, if I take that off and then I do this do this ah nice that actually worked uh, okay now what 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 the hell does it mean bridge pillar collision that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we'll do this. Now, uh, we need uh, signals back here. Yeah. Now, how do we get this? Why that's a bridge pillar collision, I don't know. That didn't make any sense. Okay, you go across here. You go across here. Good. Yeah. Then we come over here and we grab this. And we run this through. Yep. Just upgrade that. And that. And that. I mean, you might as well. Yeah, um, okay. Now, uh, now, along here, we've got another bridge. Uh, yeah, this will be fun to upgrade. Um, do I want to just leave that one? Yeah, I'll leave that one, because that's the end of the line. Uh, okay. Uh, good. Um, Let's get things rolling again and uh, go take a ride. Um, okay. Yeah, now this uh, viaduct isn't going to hold us up, so uh, that's uh, definitely good. Now, we, we are probably running this line way over capacity at the moment with these uh, bi-level uh, uh, passenger cars, but 
you know, that's, uh, that's perfectly fine, you know. Um, now there's that, uh, industry. Uh, is that the one that was in the way? No, 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 that's the second one. Right. Um, and then we're coming up here to the uh, sharp bend into the station. Yep, and here we go. Yeah, you, you do want to avoid these kinds of sharp bends uh, where you can. But it I remember uh, thinking about it at the time, uh, the time I built it, thinking, yeah, that's probably about the best thing I can do there. And it does kind of work. So, um, yeah, because I had to cross over that other line beside us there uh, regardless. So I'd either have to do it on this side or that side. And that side was actually easier. Ah, we're carrying a whole 15 passengers out of a capacity of 165. Um, yeah, and then, of course, we have these semaphore signals still kicking about here. Wow, I forgot how uh, complex this mess over here was. Look, all these uh, bridges and uh, uh, various uh, tracks going every which way. Uh, yeah, that's quite a lot more complex than I thought it was. Now, that's a thing, actually. Uh, getting uh, bespoke uh, uh, train connections from uh, point to point, you know, industry to industry, uh, you know, is going to uh, create a lot more of this type of traffic uh, uh, configuration as the tracks have to go through choke points and so on. And uh, the new map will have some choke points on it. Uh, it's not flat and uh, uh, you know it, it definitely has industries in inconvenient places. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'm still uh, ruminating on what year I want to start the uh, gameplay in. I'm uh, kind of thinking I, I'm not going to start in 1850, but I might. Uh, I, I, I haven't uh, figured that out yet. Now, uh, we've got the uh, 90k bridges here. Why is it slowing down to is a 70? It must be a slow corner. Um, right. Yeah, we got these 90k bridges here. Uh, and I think they're fine here because this is coming up on the terminus station, right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, it's coming up on the terminus here. So, yeah, we, we should be fine. Yeah, here we go. We're going to drop off our 15 people, pick up a lot more than 15 by the look of it. Oh, that's kind of an interesting view, isn't it? A house and a train. And water. You know, say what you will about Transport Fever 2. Uh, Urban Games has done a great job making the game look nice. Uh, could it be better? Sure. But they've done a great job making it look nice. Generally. Uh, there's, there's a lot of little niggles like the floating uh, semaphore signals. But uh, they've done a, a really good job making it look nice. And, uh, you know, one thing, uh, you know, that would be a nice detail is if they could actually make these uh, catenary wires, uh, you know, alternate back and forth, uh, you know, back and forth. Because uh, they, they, in, in uh, real life, they do. And that's to avoid uh, wearing a single groove into the pantograph, right? Uh, but, um, yeah. Uh, the, uh, you know, m minor things like that, you know. Uh, or uh, fixing a few of the uh, hit boxes on, uh, you know, like how, how things uh, line up with uh, uh, cliffs and stuff. You know, things like that. There's there's some niggles, but uh, they've done a pretty good job making it look nice. 
So, you know, uh, say what you will, uh, you know, performance actually uh, isn't that bad considering, like, I don't, I'm not running a, po a potato by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't have one of those ridiculous gaming rigs either. And uh, this map is, uh, is actually performing pretty good considering how busy it is. So, you know, I have to give, give credit where credit's due there. Oh yeah, we've come in with... Uh, uh, another line there. Uh, briefly. Okay. And here we go. Uh, how many of these 30 do we drop off? Most of them. And then we pick up fewer. Right. Okay. Well, you know, that's fine. Um... Right, so uh, when this gets uh, moving, oh yes, yeah, this is this is our sharp corner again onto our uh, viaduct. Right, you know, there's one of the uh, things that they kind of need to deal with as well is the uh, the pillars not quite lining up with the viaduct on top and things like that. You know, there, there's quite a bit of that sort of shenanigan going on, but. Uh, you know, for the most part, things actually do pretty good. So, you know, credit where credit's due, right? Uh, they're not a big shop either. Uh, so, you know, that they've accomplished this is uh, pretty impressive. Now, uh, as I understand it, they've had something of a staff turnover in the past few months. So, uh, you know, we might see some changes along the way, but... Uh, It'll be interesting to see what they come up with for the next patch. Uh, I'm hoping for a performance patch uh, because I like to play with larger cities and towns um, just because that gives... Uh, well, that's a bit of a challenge, you know, snaking your stuff in there and not cutting the town in half and things like that, right? Uh, I might uh, bring up uh, my uh, previous uh, playthrough, uh, you know, on the side map where I've got uh, I've got a mod in there that makes town growth, uh, uh, you know, a little more like Transport Fever 1. I might dig that one up and just uh, show show the, uh, the mess I've managed to create there. But it's actually got to the point where it's not playing smooth anymore. Now that might be due to the time, the game time, like where it's got to in the game time. Uh, as I think it's actually at the replace all the building stage, so that's going to slow it down. But uh, where you can see the uh, the kind of mess that you can get into, right? Okay. Oh, there's another bridge there. Ah. Okay. Well, let's uh, take a look. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to replace that one too. Okay. Let's see if we get... Nope. What? Hello. Uh, get bridge pillar collisions on this one, too. No. Okay. Uh, so we'll grab this. Go up here. Concrete. Oh, nice. Uh... Yeah, we don't need the great big hump bridge on that anymore. Uh, yep. Accept it. Build another one. Good. Okay. Um, is there another? No, there, I, there isn't any other viaducts. Okay. Okay, well, we'll uh, go back on board and we'll uh, we'll uh, ride this uh, some more. Uh, ride it back around to the, uh, was it Thornton uh, Terminus uh, for the line. And we'll see, see where we, what we end up with. Now, looking at the uh, time on the episode, I might actually cut after this and... Uh, uh, go on with uh, and, and uh, the other line uh, upgrade that one uh, in the next episode uh, you know just to uh, 
just getting things uh, running, right? Uh, you know, in the interest of not having these uh, episodes be too long. It's kind of nice how you can uh, you can bring an electric uh, line in beside a non-electric track and have it uh, snap together like that. It uh, it works quite nicely. Um, yeah. Okay, we got 28 on board. Now what do we have here when we we stop? There's the train going the other way. Um, okay, we're gonna drop a few off, and then we're gonna pick up a bunch. Ah, we're, we've got more on board than when we arrived this time. Nice. Okay. Um, right, so we're, uh, we're making, uh, making progress on our trip here. Uh, I haven't actually uh, sped up the, uh, the clock on this either. Uh, okay, so what's next? Thornton. Okay. Uh, so we, we've got this uh, ride through the, uh, the plains here between the uh, mountains. I actually kind of like how this map came out uh, with these flat flat areas and then the uh, mountains. Uh, you know, it it kind of forces your uh, lines to uh, uh, deviate from the straightest possible path. And, you know, there's some some benefit to that, really. Uh, it makes things a little more interesting. Now, uh, if I was gonna pl if I was playing this map, uh, you know, offline, I'd probably spend uh, you know quite a f quite a bit of time uh, running through and uh, upgrading uh, other uh, lines that are uh, running the old uh, uh, steam trains still. <laughs> um, uh, you know, uh, I, I might I might do that, but uh, that would be tedious for you guys, so I'm not going to do it for uh, for the videos. Yeah, see, there's one of those old steam trains, right? And then we got this fancy, uh, ridiculous electric number uh, running along here, and just strolling by these old steam trains. That's actually not so um, so ridiculous, uh, actually. Uh, if you uh, had limited resources, uh, you would end up with just that happening. Uh, although, uh, in reality, uh, maintaining and operating those uh, steam trains would have got very expensive compared to a modern electric... Uh, engine or uh, even a diesel uh com you know so uh in reality almost certainly they would have been replaced with uh, diesel at least uh and we could certainly do that here and here we diverge from the freight and we uh, merge with the other uh, passenger line heading into the passenger station here Oh, that uh, bridge pillar is slightly iffy there. Yeah, that's one of those um, things where it'd be nice if they could somehow uh, adjust that or, or, or whatever so that it didn't place pillars like that. But I think they've made the hitboxes on that stuff a little bit sloppy so that uh, people don't get frustrated when they can't place a bridge. Uh, I, I'm reasonably certain that's the, uh, the case because it's... Uh, frustrating enough anyway okay now we get up here and uh, yeah okay so uh, so that line is good okay so so uh, this line is good uh, We'll ride it out of the station going the other way, just to see what that uh, that mess there looks like. And then, uh, then I guess from, uh, from there, I'll uh, 
you know, back out and we'll take just a little bit of a look and uh, see what's uh, doing in Thornton there. And then, uh, and then it'll be uh, upgrading the uh, other line uh, next time around, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I'll, what I'll do. Uh, I'm actually going to record that episode right after this one. Uh, just so that uh, I, I don't forget what I'm planning to do. Uh, I think I'll do two more episodes after uh, after this one. So, and uh, at that point, I, I'll uh, make the call whether I'm going to uh, do any more on this map or uh, go on with the new one. Yeah, that, uh, that pillar is definitely an issue. Uh, but I'm not going to mess with it to, uh, to fix it either. Yep, this is, uh, this is good. Uh, okay, okay, get out of there. Uh, close you. Now we'll go back over here and take a look. Um, we don't have a backlog waiting there. Uh, we don't have a backlog here anymore. Uh, yeah, we got no backlog in there. Uh, how, how's, okay, yeah, that's doing fine. Uh, good. Yeah, so next time around, I'll take the uh, final line out of Thornton, uh, which is the one that goes up around this way. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's a long one. Right. Yeah. Up through there, uh, across here. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, Thornton, where is it? There it is. Uh, okay, so uh, that's going to be all for for this time. Uh, so uh, you know, stay uh, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And well, see you back next time.